how many items should be manufactured in batches to minimize the total cost of production. In this case, we are manufacturing 100,000 lamps annually. There are several costs to consider. There is a fixed cost of $500 to set up the factory to produce a batch of lamps. Each lamp costs $25 to make and $1 to store for a year. We'll proceed as before and let Q represent the number of lamps in each batch. As a first example, let's find the cost to produce all 100,000 lamps in a single batch. The total cost consists of three terms. It costs $500 to set up the single batch, 100,000 times 25 to produce the lamps, and 50,000 times 1 to store an average of 50,000 units for a year. This gives a total cost of $2,550,500. Producing 50,000 lamps in two batches costs $2,526,000. And 10,000 lamps in ten batches cost $2,510,000. As you can see from the table, as batch size is decreased, the variable costs do not change. However, the fixed costs increase as the plant has to be set up more often and the storage costs decrease. Decrease the size of the batch so that the pattern becomes obvious. And we can write the cost in terms of the size of the batch Q. The fixed costs are 100,000 divided by Q times 500. The storage costs are Q divided by 2 times 1 and the variable costs are fixed at 100,000 times 25 as the batch size varies. The sum of these costs are the total cost. It can be simplified to give 50 million times Q to the negative 1 plus 2,500,000 plus 1 half times Q. As with all of these optimization problems, we take the derivative to find any critical numbers. For this function, the only realistic critical number is a batch size of 10,000. We use the second derivative to decide if the critical number is a relative maximum or minimum. The second derivative is positive at the critical number, so it is a relative minimum. At this relative minimum, the total cost is $2,510,000.